All right, so let's start off my favorite position. Everybody's walking out of quarantine with good knees. So feet down, feet flat on the floor. We're gonna go into a hip and knee lower body mobility. Five minute hip and knee body mobility flexibility. So we're gonna sit on our thighs. We're gonna rock side to side. Now reach your hands back. I always start my mobility off with this because everything stems from the knees. Everybody gets sore knees, so we want to break up any scar tissue. We're also working into the front of the shins in this position. Great work. Nice. All right, guys, let's go here. Bring that hip forward. There you go. Sink that elbow down. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to go for reps here, okay? So you're going to sink down and forward like Spider-Man, okay? So it's a Spider-Man stretch. Sink it down, come back up. Spider-Man down. Come back up. Spider-Man down. Come back up. That's it. We're going to go five more seconds. Here we go. Get all the way down. Sink that knee. Bring that knee over top of the toes. One more. Then we're going to switch. Great work. All right. Let's get up to that other side. Get that foot in line with the shoulder. Now what you want to do is you want to drive that knee over the toe so you get deep into that hip. You're going to feel that pull all through the glutes. Back to your thighs. There we go. We're going to get mobility into the knee and ankle as well. That's it. Great work. Nice. All right. It's a pigeon stretch. Everybody knows this one. So leg forward, get it across the body. We're going to start up tall and we're going to sink down and sink down. There you go. Get that, get that chest down right to the floor. There you go. Now try to really push yourself deeper into that stretch. Feel that stretch all through the hip, through that IT band. We're going to hold for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great work. Let's switch it up. Bring that knee across. Sink right into that hip. There you go. Hold it down. Feel that stretch through the hip. Now what you're going to do is you're going to sink down into that leg a little bit deeper. Let's get mobile into those hips. Get them nice and loose. There you go. Great work. We're going to go for five more seconds. Four, three, two. Next up, we're going to sit on our butts. We're going to sit on our butts, have our feet flat like this, hands back. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to sink, and we're going to get into a 90-90. So this knee is going to go to the inside of this foot. You're going to sink that foot down, okay? Then we're going to rotate to the other side. We're working all through that hip, all through that hip mobility, but you have to be... And let's switch it up. Work. There you go. And switch it up. Good. So you're dropping that knee down and forward. An internal, external rotator. You might notice that one hip is a little bit tighter than the other. All right, let's go one more each side. One. Bounce. And last one. Two. Bounce. Good. Bring your right leg. Bring it back. It's not hip flexor. Get into the front. Do is bring that heel, tuck it back, sink down, reach that arm, feel that stretch all through the hip, feel that stretch all through the front, up, and reach and extend. You can there you go. Reach it back. We got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Reach it up. All right, bring that leg out. All right, bring that heel all the way back, tuck it in. Get that heel as close to the butt as possible. Reach back, extend, and try and drop back, back. There you go. There you go, feel that stretch, guys. We're gonna go for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so since we're working into that hip flexor, we did a little bit of hamstring work. We're gonna go into a front split. So what you wanna do is you wanna have that back foot pointed down to the floor. You're going to have your your front toe pointed up. And what you're going to do is try to extend as much as possible. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop our hip forward. And then you're going to push to the other side back. You're going to sink your hip inside. Then you're going to rock outside. Okay, so we're working different parts of the hamstring, different parts of the hip flexor. We're going to go for five more seconds. There you go. Feel that pull. Feel that pull. And switch. All right, so back foot pointed down, front foot, foot pointed forward. You're going to sink your hip out or inwards. Then you're going to go outwards. So you're basically just pivoting on your heel, your front heel. So you're going to go from to the left, then to the right. 
There you go. Keep rocking side to side. Keep rocking side to side. There you go. All right, guys, let's get up. We're going to get our feet. If you can get your feet there, you can sit down on the ground. Okay? And we're just going to drop our elbows and we're going to rock, push them backwards, side to side. Okay? So now we're working deep into that groin, but we're also working deep into that knee. We're going to sit down to this monkey stance. Keep pushing, elbows side to side. There you go. Keeping your heels flat. Rock side to side. Good. Palms down on the floor. You're going to lean forward with your elbows inside of your thighs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep our hands flat on the floor. You're going to straighten out your legs. Keep your heels flat. Now you're going to feel that stretch all through your hamstrings, through your low back. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come up. We're going to come up. In five seconds. Let your arms dangle. Let your head dangle. Let your neck Come all the way up, reach up, let's stretch out all throughout that spot, reach up towards the ceiling, and we're going to clap it up. All right, great work, everybody. We're going to go fifth down on three. One, two, three.